uh, stretches. So we're going to do stretches and shears and also uh, project onto a line. If we look at stretches parallel to the x-axis, we're going to take x prime, y prime, and we're going to just take the kx. We're not going to move it in the y direction. The y stays the same. You get kx plus 0, 0 plus y. And so uh, what helps is kxy, right? But this is helpful because now you can see that this is uh, k001. All right, and determine it was k. Let's do the next one. Now we're going to keep things parallel to the y-axis. We're going to start here. What's the same from beginning to end this time? X is. So you have x prime, y prime, and you're going to keep the x the same, but you're going to have some multiple k of y. Well, that's the same as x, 0, 0, ky, which is 1, 0, 0, k, xy. Oh, wouldn't be it'd be great if we recorded. Okay, so uh, for shears, what we're saying is, is that the base part is moving at a different, I don't want to say rate, but moving differently than the top part. So we're going to do this first one with respect to the x-axis. And so the x-axis, everything's moving parallel to it. Okay, so what do you notice about this coordinate here and this coordinate here? What's the same? The y. So y prime is equal to y. That's important. But what happens, and man, this, this book does not explain it, but I think I figured it out last night, is that x prime does move, doesn't it? And it moves, it starts at a value x, and then it moves some distance, right? So here's what I, this is what I was thinking. M is equal to Y over X. What does that mean? So, so X times M is equal to Y. Do you agree with that? So uh, what would X be equal to? Y or 1 over M times Y. So do you agree that x can be rewritten as some constant times y when you have a slope. So what's happening is this is moving with respect to x and y. And so what they did is they said, OK, this x is moving ky. k is like 1 over m times y. The reason we want that is that when we put this together, x prime, y prime, uh, you get x plus ky, and you get uh, 0 and y plus y. You can see how this turns into x prime, y prime, 1, k, 0, 1, xy. 1, k, 0, 1, yeah. And a determinant of 1. Does that kind of make sense? I, I hope it does. It's just another formula, and I'm going to stop here in a little bit. And then for the y shear, what stays the same when we go from this point here to this point here? What stays the same? But x stays the same. So x prime is equal to x, and y prime is going to start at y, and then it's going to move a distance related to the slope. So that's going to be that 1 over m, or just k times uh, x, right? Yeah. So rewriting this in standard matrix form, we can have uh, x prime, y prime. Oh, I like that green. And then we'll get the uh, x is 1. Well, let's just do x plus 0, kx plus y, which is 1, 0, k1 times xy. And there's your shear for parallel to the y. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. A linear transformation T is a shear parallel to the X with scale factor 2. Uh, the triangle is moved A prime, B, B prime, C prime under T. Find these and illustrate the transformation. Find the area of those. So um, what you're going to do is that the first thing you're going to do is that it's parallel to which one? X, X axis or Y? x-axis, right? So we look at that formula and it's going to be 1k 0, 1 and what did they say that the um, factor was? 2. So we take that out making this a 2 and then uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Find those Okay, so then all we have to do then is rewrite this as x prime equals x plus 2y and y prime is equal to 0 plus y. So that's going to be the equations. And so then if we start with a point, let's, uh, we have three points here. Let's, I'm just going to do a. a is point 0.12. There's x, there's y. Could you find x prime or y prime? I don't need to, do I? Feel okay? It's only if Lexi's okay. okay. Oh, okay, then we're fine. And then, uh, let's see. Before we do this point onto a line, we're on a mass day, so we're kind of running low on time. So I'm going to have you read this page and this page. And I'm just going to have you do 1AB, 2AB, and 3 for tomorrow. And that's, uh, 3 is the one that has that reading. You just use the formula and you'll be fine. I'll check those three for tomorrow. And then we will finish uh, the rest of these in class tomorrow. But I want you to do 1, 2, 3, 4.